Hi there, Andre from Motormetrics. Today I want to go over how to import your shipping costs into your dashboard. So the easiest and most recommended way of importing your shipping costs is to use one of our custom integrations. If you go to the data warehouse and then go to the integrations page and you scroll down, you'll see we have a number of shipping connections. These are our custom shipping integrations and these will automatically import your shipping costs. Uh, if you do not use any of these shipping integrations, you're still in luck. You can go to the shipping data page and we have several ways of either importing your shipping costs or setting shipping rules. So we have a priority system which I'll explain a little bit more. So priority one, priority two, and then priority three. So this is the precedence in which the data is applied. So priority one is first applied, then priority two, then if not, priority three. Priority one is any manually uploaded shipping costs. So a good example would be if I exported all of my tracking IDs and associated shipping costs, and then I pasted it here, and then I imported it by order. So that's gonna take precedence over everything except for data that comes from a shipping integration. Next, we have our product-based rules. There are several, I'll try to walk through this. So, first, we have the option of multiply shipping costs per product quantity for the same product. So, this is the case in which you have a product quantity of three, um, for a single line item in an order. This will either, you can either multiply the shipping costs or have it be a fixed rate. So this is at a single line item order level. Now this next option is to sum shipping costs for orders with multiple line items or to use the highest product shipping costs. So let's look at an order to try to analyze those two things. So this would be an example of an order with product quantity three. And so this has the multiple shipping quantity rule applied. As you'll see, it's $18 and it has a ship per item shipping cost of $6. In this case, this would be an example of there being multiple products in the shipping rule of having it either sum or use the highest shipping cost for a given product. So if we go back to the data warehouse, so explained we have the multiple shipping costs per product and then we have the option of either summing the shipping costs or using the highest product shipping costs. Let's scroll further. So now what we're looking at is we have the option to add shipping costs by country by product and then add quantity breaks. So shipping cost, cost by product is pretty simple you can add a country and then you add an associated shipping cost. These orders, these costs are per item and the multiple shipping costs per product quantity rule applies to rules that are made here. Now the quantity breaks so I'll, I'm going to make an example quantity break. So so I just made a quantity break. And to explain what's going on here, for orders between 1 and 3, the shipping cost per unit will be $5. And then for products for qu product quantities up to five, the shipping cost will be $4. So if I had an order of four, it would be 16. If it was three, it would be 15. Hope that makes sense. The quantity breaks are not affected by the multiple shipping costs per product rule, which is understandable because it already incorporates product quantity. 
And lastly, we have the default shipping costs. This will be applied if neither this rule or the quantity break, break rule is applied. And if there are no overarching country-based rules. So scroll down further. If you don't want to set rules by product, you could do default country-based rules, and this will apply to every product. This rule, however, is not affected by the multiply shipping cost per product quantity rule. And then we have default quantity breaks, and this applies to all products. All right, so that is the product-based rules. If I scroll down further, we get to priority three. So priority three is the last rule in the stack if we do not have any data that's imported from an integration, if you have not imported data via CSV, or if it, none of the shipping rules apply in priority two, then we will fall back on priority three, which we can either have it set to the shipping amount charged to the customer, and we can pull that data directly from Shopify or your e-commerce store, or using a fixed shipping cost. So I know that's a lot to go through. If you have additional questions, we have a really robust help desk with a lot of articles on the specifics of a lot of these rules. We also have help available. Um, feel free to email us at hello at ordermetrics.io or just message in app.